What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over how to find ancient cores that are located in shrines. I'm going to show you the treasure chests that they will be in and you can use ancient cores to build and craft these awesome exclusive weapons that you see on the wall. Now these are ancient weapons that you cannot find just anywhere in Hyrule. You can't just, you know, walk around Breath of the Wild and just stumble upon these weapons. You actually have to go make them with ancient cores and some other parts. Now ancient cores are a little bit harder to get so we're gonna focus on that. Now check out this ultra awesome weapon. This is the ancient blade saw. It's so cool. It looks like it will tear a guardian to shreds. So this is an ultra cool weapon and it's something we should all probably pick up at some point in our journeys. For those of you who don't know, on the floor are what ancient cores are okay and again you use them to craft these weapons so let's head to our first shrine and that's going to be the dakaso shrine it's not too far from the shrine of resurrection where you start the game All right, so let's go ahead inside the shrine, and this is simply a minor test of strength. It's a very simple guardian to beat. Once you defeat him and you proceed towards the altar, there's going to be a treasure chest here where you can open that up and retrieve your ancient core. Now, moving to the next shrine, which is going to be the Kam Yatak Shrine. Uh, it's located by the central tower. It's uh, a little southwest to the central tower. So let's go ahead and head there now to proceed to the next shrine. All right, so at the central tower, again, to the southwest, there is going to be a shrine very close nearby, just a paraglide away, and let's go ahead and head the, in that direction. Now, this shrine is not only going to contain an ancient core, which is what we're after, but it's also going to have a very, very awesome diamond for you to take. So let's go ahead and grab both of these really cool items. Now, when you get to a section towards the middle of this shrine, you're gonna have a puzzle where you have to use this hammer to hit a boulder. Now, right here, there's going to be a treasure chest containing the ancient core. And in this shrine, again, there's a diamond that we're gonna collect. So let's head there right after this. Now, just before the end of the shrine, you have to hit this crystal in order to get shot up into the air to reach the altar, as you can see here. But we're not going to go to the altar. We're going to actually go to the second level here. And under the altar, there's a chest containing a diamond. So that's a beautiful find. Now moving to the next shrine, which is the Dako Ta Shrine. All right, so once we're here in the Dako Ta Shrine, you're gonna come across a section of the shrine where there are a few guardians sitting on like a metal plate. Go ahead and pick up the uh, electric cube, throw it on there, you can kill the guardians quickly. And here in this section, there is a treasure chest right by the ladder and it contains the ancient core. So let's go ahead and move on to our next shrine. Headed to the Kaya Wan Shrine, this is a sort of water shrine, and you'll be able to use your Cryonis to pick up treasure chests. Further on in the shrine, you're going to come across a gate, and you use your Cryonis on the gate that will allow you to get behind the gate and to pick up the ancient core here. Now, we're going to head to our next shrine, which is going to be the Zunikai Shrine. This is a shrine blessing, so there's no trial. You simply run up and collect your uh, treasure chest and also the spirit orb, of course. 
All right, so now we're going to go next to a shrine that's next to the Tabantha Tower on the left-hand side of the map. And by the Divine Beast, there's a shrine called the Akvako Shrine, I guess. Here, you're going to simply hit the crystal orb, and that's going to reveal a treasure chest here. Then you're going to use your Cryonis on the water, and you're going to see two treasure chests inside of some little coves in the wall. Now I'm going to add this part in here just because it's a little difficult to beat. So you're basically going to hit the bottom left crystal three times and the top left crystal three times, as you see here. Now you're going to hit every other crystal one time, and that's going to be the code to get into the altar to collect your spirit orb. So I just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so let's go to the Maka Ra Shrine. This contains a diamond and an ancient core. So this is an ultra awesome shrine. It's over in the top left hand corner of the map. If you go to the Shah Warvo Shrine and you cross the water, there you will find at the side of a mountain, there's going to be a cave. And if you go into that cave and you drop down, you swim across, you'll be able to see the Makara Shrine. Again, you're gonna find a diamond, you're gonna find an ancient core, and you'll also even find bomb arrows in this shrine as well. So I'm um, using my Cryonis here where the treasure chest is, and this is gonna be the treasure chest that contains the bomb arrows. So when you find the boxes in the shrine, go ahead and blow those up. And if you turn around, you're going to see some boulders. Blow the boulders up, and then you're going to see a shrine that you can grab with Magnesis, which will reveal a diamond. And we'll use the Magnesis again to grab this chest to reveal the ancient core. All right, so we're gonna head to the Rin Oya Shrine. It's by the Hebra Tower, and um, this shrine is a little tricky, so I'm gonna show you how to beat it. And so just follow along, and we'll move on to the next shrine, which is actually in the Korok Forest. Alright, so in the Korok Forest, there is a character named Tasho. Tasho is worried about Oki, which is a, another Korok, uh, who's looking for a shrine in the forest, okay? And so Tasho is a little worried that Oki might get hurt, and so we're going to go ahead and follow Oki. Now, Oki is a tiny, small little Korok, as you can see here on the screen. And if he finds out that you're following him, he's going to basically just go back to the beginning. So you have to basically sneak behind him. And along the way, he's saying things like, I'm not scared. Okay, wait, I'm scared. So like, <laughs> he's just crazy. He's small and you just got to have his back. So, all right, when Oki gets to the shrine, he's going to start celebrating. And that's when you're able to walk up to the shrine and then enter the shrine. So in this shrine, it's just a blessing shrine, so you don't have to go through a trial. You just simply obtain your final ancient core in this video. All right, everyone, that about wraps it up. Thank you all so much for your support. I've got 3,300 subscribers at the time of the recording of this video. I'm so excited. It's been a very short time since I've started this channel, and I'm so happy. I'm 
ecstatic and I love reading your comments. I want you to know I read all of your comments, okay? I try to like all the comments so you know that I read it and I know you all know that. So you guys rock, I hear you and if there's videos or games that you want me to cover, uh, let me know. I'm going to be doing streaming soon. I'm getting that set up. So it's going to be a blast. And please make sure to smash that like button. See you soon. God bless everyone. Cheers.